Welcome to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing with your host, Mike Mitchell. BC Outdoor Sport Fishing is brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers, Rapala, Kingfisher, Yamaha, and the Pacific Salmon Foundation. Hello everybody, welcome to BC Outdoor Sport Fishing. I'm your host, Mike Mitchell. Today we're fishing with Mike Fortmuller from Shearwater. Mike, welcome. Thank you, Mike. This is redemption time. There's some controversy over the first year season, the coho competition. So, you know what, we let it sit a year, hard feelings put aside, yep. disputes from the judges. I don't know, I think you're paying them off. This is year two, and this is my year. I'm not gonna lose. Cold, cold competition part two. That's right. So right now we're up Shearwater. Shearwater, we're up on the central coast of BC. So we're about 500 kilometers north of Vancouver. Okay. Uh, today I'm gonna to take you out through Seaport Channel and then we're gonna get around Cape Swain, fish between Cape Swain and Cubby Hole. It's Coho Challenge part two. There you go. Rules are simple. Any hardware, flash flies, spoons, flashers. But no bait. No bait. Even though last First, night I went and went and sure. grind up all that bait. That's fine. First one to four to the boat wins. Okay, and after each fish, you have to switch out. You can't use the same lure to catch more than one fish. Okay? I think that's a great idea. Loser cleans the kingfisher. And it's gonna be a whole mess. And I'm not doing it this year. Okay. I refuse. That's fine. It's, right. it's always good to set the bar high. Okay. All right. Let's hop in the boat. Let's go. Excellent. All right. Yeah, after you. Come on. All right, bitter powder. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> Cause he's gonna lose again this year. And he unplugged the cable again. <laughs> That's not funny. Good one. You're off to a great start there, Mitchell. Oh, no way. <laughs> Get out of here. <laughs> oh, come on! Be oh, gone. Oh, it just it hit right off Be that gone. clip. And... Be gone. It's gone. Oh, what a shame. <laughs> That's a shame. I feel so bad. The sneaky guy, I've been getting all the fish on this side, 41 feet. Just having to notice he came up to 41 feet. It's okay, I just, what'd you do here, you bugger? <laughs> There's a fish. Here, Mike, I'll speed There's up for you. Fish. Okay? fish on. First one of the trip. Now, how deep are you on that one, Mike? Uh, I'm not really sure because I zeroed out my counter. Let me see you do the math. I was 66 oh. feet. No. Yes, I was. 76, hey. Yeah, nice. Huh. Playing a little trickster there. Beautiful day, calm seas out here. In oh, there we go. We got a Milbank salmon down. on. We got a little coho. Our first coho of the trip. That's one. Now, do you want to let that go? Yeah, I'm going to let this guy go, Mike. You know what I'll do is I'll uh, first let him calm down a bit. We just got a single barbless hook on there, too. so. Yeah, it's got some marks on them, maybe from a net, eh? Yeah, looks like a gill net. Or... Coyote spoon. Slide this. Hook that hook and then go apply pressure, eh, and pop it. Yeah, and then just downward force on the... There we go. There we go, and there it swims away. Yes, sir. That's one nothing. You know, you can always come back. Yeah, you can. Fish on, Mike! Look, your rod's bouncing! <laughs>
<laughs> I wasn't going to tell him. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm like watching it. I'm like, should I say something? Nah. I better. <laughs> See how sporting is that of me? I could have kept you over here. That thing could have popped the whole off. time. Could have lost it. But no. Decided to be a good good sport here. And there's your first one. Oh, look at that. It's 1-1. One, one nice job. <laughs> Let me assist you on this one. How's that? Now he's, now he's, now he's alive. Now he's not happy. He wants to jump in the boat. That rod tip up. Coming around the back side of the engine. Back him up, my friend. Back up? Yep. Still a little scrappy. There's more BC Outdoors sport fishing right after this break. Closed captioning is provided by Ace Line Hauler, the only prawn trap puller built West Coast tough. All right, so we both got uh, our first fish. As rule state, got to change over the gear. You only catch one fish per. I know it's going to be hard because you really like that purple. I love the purple haze flash fry. Purple haze flash fry. So, so anyway, so I just switched over for my Glow Kermit spoon. So I'm going to go to a white flash fly now. And so the other thing is, is I can't go and use that purple one. You can't one, use mine, and I and can't, you can't use, use the one. Kermit one. No. All right. Sounds good. Well, you can go through the tickle trunk, which is up there. Uh, I'm just trying to, I'm trying to stick with that sort of purple theme, the blue, purple. So, but I'm going to change out the hook on this one and put a, a new Gamagatsu hook on. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, there goes mine now. We got a fish. Oh, I got a fish too. <laughs> oh, I got a double header. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, you gotta go. I gotta go underneath you, Mike. Okay, we're gonna do the tangle here. I'll go over. There we go. Double header oh, no. style. And now we are where? Okay, I gotta go. You gotta okay. go underneath me now. There we go. Oh, good fish. Good Lose fish. It. Lose good, it. good fish. That's not very sporting of you, Mike. I hope yours is like a big Chinook, because then it won't even count. That's true, you know what, this one's staying down. That's good. That's okay, it's fun. We're fishing. That's right. So here's my flusher. Oh, and it's a cold, you better. That's a cold. Cold madness, sheer water. Look at that, beautiful. Double header. Well, mine's ready to come in, Mike. I got a bleeder, I'm gonna take this fish. Yeah. This because he's a bleeder, so I'm just gonna do that whole. Nope. Nope. Just gonna go quick, really quick. Oh, he's a good fish too. Normally I wouldn't like to do that. I was gonna let this guy go, but he's bleeding as we can see. So we're gonna have to take this guy and I'll help you with yours, Mike, in a sec. Coyote spoon. Can't get ahead Blue of you. And chrome. With a long leader. We got about a seven foot leader on this one. Switch out now. Well, we got the flasher for attracting, and then the spoon is just doing its own thing. But you try to always have a long, a long leader line on your spoon. Just get it back there, so that way then the flasher is not really giving it any action. The spoon's still letting it do its. Need some help, Mike? No, I think I'll be able to just drag this in just like you did. Okay, so I'm just gonna drop mine down and go with this prism spoon. Which Mike set up so he doesn't know I'm taking it from him. You right there, Mike? Yep. Here's, here's mine. Double header. Got them both in. Bookends, eh? <laughs> nice. <laughs> so I'm fishing one of the new Lure Jensen Prism Spoons. Hey. It's got kind of a green hey. shine to it. Yeah, what man. are you doing? What's that? I had lined up my next lure, 
I didn't know there was rules around that. I just saw it there, I'm like, that looks ready to fish. <laughs> Have fun with that one. <laughs> oh my gosh, really? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking you're about. You're really gonna play it that way? I'm just gonna put the boat in gear so we can actually fish a bit. <sighs> no. See, this is smart. Throw a wrench into him, he's OCD, and he can't figure out what to do next. There's a million spoons hanging off the door here. Go big or go home. You found it. <laughs> found it. Wow. Learning with the pros. Brought to you by your Toyota BC dealers. So today I'm going to talk to you about some boating etiquette. And that is when we're, the general sort of rule that we follow up here is that the right hand rod gets the beach. So by meaning that, that you travel along your kelp beds or your points, that the right hand rod gets the right away going down. And so when you finish doing your tack, that you then pull back out and around, and you're doing sort of like a big loop. And that way everyone's getting the same opportunity to go and fish the honey hole per se. And so another, and another uh, good rule to be able to follow is that when you're coming through maybe a popular fishing area, that you take a wide berth around you know, all the boats that are congregated there. And that way then you're not disturbing anyone with a big wake or possibly going and spooking the fish. So it's just, it's common courtesy, if anything. And then another good point to follow is that if you've got a big fish on, what to do, you need to let other people know in the area, hey, you got a big fish on, point in the direction of where the salmon's traveling towards. So that way you can notify the other boaters in the area that they can pull their gear and giving you the better opportunity to be able to land that trophy. And also that if someone else has a big fish on around you, you do the same thing, you pull up your gear, you ensure that they then have the same opportunity to be able to land their trophy fish. And just overall, it's a general good practice to have while out in the water and everyone's enjoying themselves. So for more tips like this, please visit our website. There's more BC Outdoors sport fishing right after this break. Let's get back on the water with BC Outdoors sport fishing. doesn't know is that when I put my spoon down, a little special sauce on it. He doesn't know we're using this stuff. And he didn't ask, so I'm not going to tell him we can use it. So I'll just hide that in my pocket. It's a rock cod, Mike. That's a coho, Mike. No, it is. That's a coho. Oh, oh, he's it is. fighting, oh, dude. Oh, oh, maybe it's a chinook. Ooh. No, that's a coho. Look at ah. that scrap, right? Eh? Oh, oh yeah. cartwheel. You missed the jumps out there. Awesome. This guy's been a good fight so far. Just out there. Nice coho. This is caught on that green spoon that Mike wanted to use. I stole and sent it up. Go oh, on, hook, pop nice up. fish. Pop up. Long line, release it. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I'm gonna let this guy go anyway, Mike. I'll move He's the going in front of the boat. There you go. Oh, the downer is still down, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. There you go. You're clear of that. Oh, he's a bleeder. Well, I might have to take this one. That's too bad. See the big puff of blood coming out of him? Yeah, we're gonna and how deep this. are you on that one again? That was a 45? Yeah. Can you uh, bring him in from the like? Sure. That's a leader touch right there, and in the tarpon series, that'd be worth points. Not a good thing we're right. coho fishing right now. <laughs> and we'll take this guy, Mike, just because he's, yeah, he's, he's bleeding, bleeding pretty good. It's unfortunate. Oh, look at that. Nice fish. Beautiful. Bright chrome. Yeah. Nice. Coho salmon. We're on a Blue Fox Matrix hammered chrome. See that for a sec? Yep. No, I just unwrapped it. <laughs> it's gonna put it away for me. All right. No way! <laughs> what? No! What? <laughs> what are you talking about? Hardware only. That's still hardware. No, you said no bait. That's I never bait. said bait. I said no bait. I didn't say no scent. I've been using scent all day, Bubba. 
<laughs> I found out he's cheating by using scent. So, to sort of even it up, because he got that last one, A, on the spoon that he took from me, and B, he had scent on it. So, I'm going to put some scent on myself. And then what you do when you get the scent, the gooey scent all over your finger, you <laughs> <laughs> no, you don't. You, you, you wipe it on the. You go. You wipe it on the bait towel right there. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, get back to fishing. Yeah, no, I just gotta get one here in the next little right. bit. You just Put gotta. That, you gotta that, scratch that it out. On. You just gotta scratch it out. That's it. All it takes is one to get back in the game. Right. Or two. But if it's my one, the game's over, my friend. That's right. That's fine. I can take. Mm -hmm. uh, it looks like something's going on right here too. A little bait ball maybe? Yeah, we're going through a lot of bait. Come on back. Come on back. Oh. No, no, you're just, no. It's just jellyfish, Mike. Don't worry about it. Why don't you go inside and have a nap? Come on, be I'll there. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> no. Oh, he's gone. No. Is he gone? Yeah, yep. your flash is rotating back there. Firecracker. Yep. You there, Mike? Oh yeah! No, it's not. That's a is fighter. It? No. Oh, that would be a fish. Ah, right. Am I allowed to swear on camera? No. <laughs> no. no, you can. <laughs> this guy's fighting a little different though, Mike. So I'm not even sure he's a co-host. Might be something different. Now it's all you gotta. Oh, no, he's come up now. Then I'll be washing. You'll be washing the boat, the kingfisher, and that'll be number four. I'm at two. You're and at three. Redemption would be mine, but I'm not gonna jinx myself. Well, that's this good. This fish hasn't come in yet, and it's still flasher down. There he is. I see the flasher. What do we got here, Mike? Hasn't scrapped yet. Do we know it's cold? Could be the elusive link. Oh, cut. it's a coho. No. He's wrapped. <laughs> He's lassoed himself. Oh, it's a good coho, too. Nice. Nice calm day out here, too. Beautiful. The water's crystal clear this year. Be able to see that down a few feet. Get that past my. Oh, look at that right in the prop wash. Awesome. Oh, it's a pink. Oh, no, it's not. <laughs> you wish. I wish. It's a beautiful coho. Mike, can you, do the go pounds, can you do the honors for me? Can you do the honors for me, Mike? Of what? Well, bringing them in there. Look at that big hook nose on that northern coal. That's a leader touch. That's number four. No. Oh, awesome. That's a nice fish. I think I'll take that guy, Mike. Oh, all right. No, the leader slipped out of my mind. Yeah. My hand. That's fine. I'll get the net for you. That's a good fish. <laughs> Ready? Here we go. One, two. Nice! There it is. Cue the Rocky theme music right now. Eye of the tiger. Eye of the tiger. Let me get that for you. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we'll just take care of this guy here quickly and we'll show you the winning fish. And All right. There's the winning fish. Beautiful. See the northern oh. coho there? We're getting the hook nose. Beautiful. I like, job, I like how studious you are being right now, and you're not even sulking. Not yet. No. You will be. As soon as this enough. boat's going to have lots of mess in it. <laughs> no. No. We've had job, uh, lots of fun, as usual, up here. And thank you for having us. I mean, it's a, it's a real treat every time we come up here and, and do our fishery up here, and it's just absolutely fantastic. Scenery's beautiful. It's a lot company's, of fun not, company's not bad sometimes. Anyway, it's all good. And now, here are all the secrets of our tackle and gear. Hello folks, we're gonna to talk to you a little bit about the gear that we've been using on today's episode. Uh, we started out, both of us were using the 10 foot six classic mooching rods in the moderate fast. And this one happens to be the medium light action. Uh, we paired it up with North Coast NC1 reels and of course our Suffolk's 25 pound test. 
Now the rest of the gear was kind of up to choice as you've, you've seen during the show. So I'll let Mike, who didn't win this year, unfortunately, I feel really bad, but I'll let him go first because he's second place. Did I mention your second place? Was I second? I think I won then. Okay. That means I won. Okay, well, there's only two of us, right? Go ahead, Mike. So, no, so uh, with the Lure Jensen Flash Fly, Purple Haze, I then match it up with the Coyote Flasher. And then my second fish was then the Allure Jensen Coyote Spoon with then a Gamagatsu 5 aught hook. Of course, all leader links are about six to eight feet long using the uh, Suffolk's 30 pound fluorocarbon. And then my last attempt to try to, to get up into the game was the Blue Fox Matrix, which uh, didn't okay. do too well for me. All right, me. I'll let you hold this and I'll show you guys the winning gear here. So, Coyote Flasher, I used it for everything today. I used that with all of the variation. Start out with the Glow Kermit four, number four coyote spoon. Then I went to the Lure Jensen White Flash Fly, which again was number two fish. Yep, that's probably where you stopped right there too. And then I found this one pre-rigged. I don't know how, it was on the boat ready. So this is kind of a prism style Lure Jensen. Was that the one you wanted to use? Actually, that, that, that was the, yeah. mm -hmm. too slow. And then the winning fish came on this one here. That would be number four winning fish. Yeah. So that was on this Blue Fox Matrix, the hammered chrome. And actually you can see the hook's gone through some, we've done some damage with this hook this year. Yeah. So anyway, and everything that went down with mine minus the flash fly was done with anchovy paste. And Mike caught onto that later <laughs> and Third. ended up hooking a fish with it finally. So that's it. And again, everything was tied up with the suffix 30 pound test. And so we also, uh, we kind of mentioned the boat, 24, 25 Kingfisher. 225 Yamaha, 99 Kicker, Lowrance equipment, Scotty High performance downriggers. That's everything you need right there. Follow my list, obviously. Don't worry about his. <laughs>